Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about whether Rolly Winkler is over or not. Is he supposed to retire? Is his career done? As you guys know, he's 44 years old today in 2021, and this was his edition from Chicago Pro, a bad edition of Rolly Winkler where four bodybuilders were able to take Rolly out and one of them competed as a pro for the first time. Most of these guys couldn't carry Rolly's gym bag a couple of years ago and now they are beating him, now they are destroying him. Even though his shape was much better at Europa Pro, Nathan Diasha crushed him. Nathan Diasha killed him. He was bigger, he was rounder, he was even more conditioned. He just overall looked like a much better bodybuilder. Just look at this comparison right here. Look at the legs, the stomach, the chest, the arms, the lats, everything. And this was the case a couple of years ago. This 2018 Prague Pro. Even though Nathan was in crazy shape here. He was full and he was conditioned. Rolly was just much better. 2018 though. I think Nathan grew a little bit more later. But still, when Rolly was on, Nathan still looked small. This was 2019 Yamamoto Pro Cup. And here, as you can see, Nathan was as big as he gets. And I don't think Nathan grew much from 2019. Uh, he had a couple of rough years. I think he went to prison for a few months. He had a lot of trouble with his gym being closed and stuff like that. So he came fuller, for sure, and in great condition. But I don't think he progressed too much. I think it's just Rolly who downgraded. Here you can see them both in back double bicep, the worst pose for Rolly, and even though he was not even more conditioned here and doesn't have better back, he was still dominating this pose simply because of the sheer mass. But this year though, that wasn't the case. Rolly lost a lot of the shape, like he doesn't have that, that wheat taper anymore, the legs are downsized, the conditioning is probably worse, maybe even the same, but without all the muscle to push the skin, he doesn't look as hard. While Nathan is spot on, for sure, yeah, this was probably Nathan's best yet. He was full and conditioned, but beating Rolly, annihilating him like this, I mean, look at the glutes and the, and the thickness in the back, it just sends us a message. It means that Rolly is probably done. Back in the day when Rolly would do this pose, it looked so freaky. This one too, he was known for the biggest triceps in the world. Now, maybe they are really impressive, but he doesn't really look that good in the comparison. He fades away. And even in this pose, I mean, the abs, Rolly has great abs and he had pretty good quad details. But now, with, uh, with that fullness lost, it just doesn't look very impressive. Most muscular. That was always Rolly's pose. He would kill everybody in this one. He would crush any bodybuilder. Probably feel heat even, possibly. But now Nathan is beating him in most muscular. And if that's happening, you know that Rolly is in a big trouble. We all have seen too many photos and videos of Rolly from 2021. And maybe we forgot what a beast Rolly was. So let me refresh your memory. Let me show you this edition of Rolly Winkler. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see right here. This guy was... A monster, a monster. When he was at his best, he was the freakiest bodybuilder in today. I would go rather with him than with Big Ramy. Look at this guy. I mean, look at the pop in the delts, in the arms, the chest, and the aesthetics as well. He was very aesthetic. Maybe the back wasn't his biggest and best body part, but look at it right here. Does this look not impressive? Come on, it looked amazing still. And this shot, mind-blowing, mind-blowing. Look at the density of this guy. Look at the size of those triceps. Who had bigger triceps than Rolly? Probably never anybody in the history of bodybuilding. This guy is, was humongous. This is what I was telling you before when he did that against Nathan. It didn't look that impressive, but look at it here. Just look how good it used to be. Can he regain all this mass back at 44 years old? I don't know, it would be a challenge for sure. If we give him a benefit of a doubt and say that he really didn't train for many months because of the gyms being closed, I know that's not the reason, but if we say he didn't train and that's why he lost all the mass and then he started cutting and he didn't really have enough time to grow, let's say that's the case and let's say his body is still fresh 
and he feels young like for example Dexter Jackson used to and he starts training hard again and pushing the foot and gear and everything in the offseason then maybe, maybe he can get back to this size I wouldn't be too surprised, I'm not saying it's impossible but then again there is the possibility that that's not the truth what he's saying maybe he just became another victim of father time 44 years old a lot of bodybuilders like for example guys Sternino are retiring at their late 30s Huadabiar as well a lot of bodybuilders uh, are retiring at least in their late 30s or early 40s there are rare cases of bodybuilders who are actually able to crush it until the mid 40s late 40s like for example Sean Roden Dexter Jackson and some other guys is Rolly Winkler one of them? We will see, I guess, next year. He doesn't have a lot of time to improve until Arnold Classic. Maybe he's gonna be better, but uh, is he gonna be the same Rolly, the old Rolly that we once knew? No, I don't think that's gonna happen. Should he retire? Not yet. Let's see what happens next year. Maybe he gets back all the mess and he starts looking his old self. We'll see. What do you guys think? Is he done? Is he not done? Whatever your take is, tell me in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to this channel. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.